promptly. A little bit of a cooler night last night into those 40s, but going into our afternoon today, we did not struggle at warming up, getting into those 60s and even into those 70s for those afternoon highs, though a little bit below that average. We're seeing very close to those averages for those temperatures, even those lows last night, only six degrees below that average, and those afternoon highs only differing from that average by two degrees. We're seeing those very on-trend temperatures for what we kind of would be seeing for this time of year, and looking out at our time lapse from this afternoon, very clear clear skies, very sunny conditions for our afternoon. A couple of very sparse clouds throughout the sky as we go into these nighttime hours. Really very clear skies, a good night to get out there and look at the stars. And those temperatures even nice as well. Seeing 58 right now. Dew point has increased. We were seeing in the teens earlier very dry. We're starting to increase that moisture throughout the Concho Valley. The humidity sitting at 85 percent and those winds out of the southeast at eight miles per hour right now. And a little bit of a cool down from what we saw last night, seeing those temperatures across the Concho Valley, a little bit cooler than what we saw 24 hours ago. Earlier in the day, we saw very similar to what we saw yesterday, but going into these overnight hours, we're actually seeing it a little bit cooler, seeing about a 10 degree drop for Junction, nine degrees in Sonora, and eight degrees out in El Dorado for these overnight hours. In our current temperatures right now, most of us sitting in those 50s, 58 in San Angelo, 59 in Robert Lee, actually seeing some 60s still. Some of us still holding on to the 60s, 63 in Menard, 62 in Eden, 61 in Coleman, and 64 out in Brady. Even as we zoom out and look at that entire state, seeing those kind of cool temperatures through the middle of the state, looking out towards the south, seeing some warmer temperatures, 72 out in Laredo. That's where I'd like to be right now, am I right? Or am I Rillo, where they're actually seeing some cooler temperatures up towards those northern parts of the state, 52 actually in Amarillo, and a little bit cooler actually in Waco, a little bit of a jump, seeing 48 out in Waco, a little bit cooler than the rest of us. And for those next 12 hours back here in San Angelo, seeing those temperatures really start to decrease going into these next couple of hours, finally getting into those 40s and staying there for a while, getting into those low 40s for those lows tonight, and actually reaching that low of 44 for that cool afternoon. And again, those skies remaining clear for these overnight hours and those winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour and looking towards our afternoon tomorrow seeing an increase from what we saw today getting into those 80s 81 for that high still sunny for that warm afternoon and those winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour and actually planning that Sunday out seeing those very beautiful conditions even as we start that morning into those upper 50s getting into 70 by noon a very big jump between those two hours and then getting into 79 as we reach 2 p.m. and those winds starting to increase out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour and then soon to reach those 80s as we get closer to four actually is taking a look at that sunny day we're going to be seeing for the rest of tonight as well as our Sunday some clouds through the area for Monday so you maybe see a couple of isolated showers through the Concho Valley for Monday as well as possible for Tuesday looking towards our Wednesday just seeing some on and off cloud coverage and then Thursday another shot at seeing some isolated showers pop up through the Concho Valley as well as the state of Texas seeing some showers across the area and so come kind of continuing for our Friday then starting to clear out just seeing those clouds for the rest of our Friday and actually taking a look at that seven day forecast again a warm up for our Sunday a little bit cooler for our Monday you see those temperatures start to kind of taper off getting a little bit cooler as well as those winds increasing but warmer temperatures expected as we end the week and start the weekend. Thank <laughs> you.